Hi friends, Namaste. This is Dr. Lakshmi Mukkala. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show very important stretches for PCOD or PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome or disease. So this is very common nowadays in young girls and young women are facing with this problem. So because of this PCOD, people may develop a lot of hair on the body and face and irregular uh, periods, painful menstruation, mood swings, irritability and young ladies are facing a problem for conceiving. So this is due to hormonal imbalance. So, so the main focus of this yoga stretches will be to stimulate the lower abdomen so that uterus and pelvic uh, floor and ovaries are stimulated and massaged so that they produce proper hormones for relieving all these symptoms. Take care of our health and do the yoga stretches regularly. It will help to cure and relieve your PCOD. Okay, so let's start. Just take your feet, touch your feet together. This is a cobbler pose or Baddha Konasana. Initially, you may not be able to bring your knees down, but try as much you can just try to push them down. You can see a lot of stretch in the pelvic floor and in the lower abdomen. This is very, very important stretch for PCOD. So try initially if you're not able to take your knees as down as this, but try. You're okay. You initially are like this. Okay. Just hold and try to push them down as much you can do. Okay. Okay, hold here. You feel a lot of stretch in the inner thighs and the pelvic floor. Now hold here five counts. One, two, three. Deep breathing. Four, five. Now take a deep breath in and slowly bend as much you can bend over your toes without lifting your knees. Again, you can feel a lot of stretch in the pelvic floor. Bend. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this you can see already there is stretch in the lower abdomen and on the in the thighs and the pelvic floor. So this is very very important stretch and also very easy to start with. Now open your legs as wide as you can. Adjust your hips. Just lift and sit. Breathe in. Stretch hands up. Breathing out. Reach toes if you can. If you cannot reach, wherever you can reach, just hold and try to bring your head as much down on the knee without lifting your knees. Okay? This is again, we are stretching the opposite side. So ovaries or both sides so we are stretching one on us one time one side bend and hold here five deep breaths one two three four five breathe in and rise up now change side deep breath in breathing out Bend as much you can over the knee and again you can feel a lot of stretch opposite side. One, five deep breaths. Two, three, four, five. And rise up. Okay, so when we are doing this side, opposite side, over it will be stimulated and massaged. So this is also a very good stretch for the PCOD. Now one more what you can do is sit in Vajrasana. This is very easy one. So again when you sit in this way, a lot of blood supply to the legs is stopped as we are sitting and folding them. So there is a lot of blood accumulated in the lower abdomen. So this helps for digestion and also for increasing the blood supply to the uterus and ovaries. So this is very very good uh, posture. You can follow this anytime after your meal or after lunch, dinner. Sit like this. Practice initially. You may not be comfortable. You just use cushions and do this. Then try to sit for 5 to 7 minutes in this way. Okay? So this is Vajrasana. 
Now one more. Sit in Vajrasan. Okay. To intensify the stretch here. Now support your hands. Elbows down. And slowly you have to rest. Okay. So there's a lot of stretch here. Initially this may not be possible for you. But just try to practice and do this. Okay. So see you can feel a lot of stretch. If you want, you can take your hands above the head. Supta Vajrasana. High deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five. You can feel a lot of stretch in this lower abdomen. So this is very good stretch. You can support your elbows and rise up. Okay. Now one more is Mandukasana or the frog pose. Sit same way in the Vajrasana. Make a fist. Close your fingers and take your thumb over the fingers. And now twist your fist this way so that the thumb is touching your tummy. Place your fist on either side of your navel. Okay, they are not like this. Twist them up. Thumb touching outside, uh, touching your tummy and the little finger is facing outside. Breathe in. Breathing out. Bend over your fist and bend down as much you can. Go down. You can feel a lot of pressure on your tummy. Okay, this will help to improve the blood supply and also massages your ovaries. Bend and hold here. Deep breathing. One, two, three, four. Five. Breathe in. So you can feel a lot of pressure on this lower abdomen. This is very, very good stretch for your PCOD. Okay. Now one more simple one is Paschimottasana. Just reach your toes. Again, when you do this, you are causing the pressure on the lower abdomen. Deep breath in. Breathing out, reach your toes, bend as much you can bend. When you bend, you can see there's a pressure and compression on the lower abdomen. Reach as much you can, go down, pull your toes back and reach. Try to bend over your knees. Breathe in, breathe out, five deep breaths. One, two, three. Four, five. I'm showing for five counts, but try to do at least 20 to 25 counts, 25 breaths. That's how it helps to stimulate the organs. Okay. So the next one, lie down on your back. Lift your legs. As I told, we have to stimulate the lower abdomen. So lift your knees, L shape, tabletop your legs. Stretch your hands if you want, you can take under your neck or stretch them. Okay. Breathe in. Breathing out. Drop your knees one side. See, you can see a lot of stretch. Again, this will stimulate the opposite side ovary. So when we drop your knees, left, the right ovary is stimulated. So twist. And turn your head, opposite side, knees left side, turn your head, right side and also right shoulder. Try to push it down, hold your knees with your left hand. You feel a lot of twist and also stimulation in this way. Five deep breaths, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, lift up and breathing out. Drop your knees right side, turn your head left side. And then press your knees down. Left shoulder, try to press it down. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Bring your legs down, rest for some 
some time. You can feel a lot of stretch and twist. Okay, one more very good stretch is lift your legs. Okay, separate your knees and hold your feet. Okay, ankle and knee should be in one line. Okay, not like this, bring, bring them in one line and your knees are not over your tummy. They should be on either side of your body and hold your feet. Breathe in, breathing up, push your knees as much you can bring to the floor. Okay, you can feel a lot of stretch in the hips and in the lower abdomen. Push your knees. This opens the pelvic floor. This is also a very good stretch. Happy baby pose. Five deep breaths. Push your knees down. One. Two. Deep breathing. Three. Four. Five. Release. Bring your knees down. You can see a lot of stretch in the inner thighs and the lower abdomen. It's also a very, very good stretch. Now touch your feet together and open your knees. Soup the Baddhasana. You can drop your knees into butterfly pose and relax here. And this will also help. So relax in this way. In Baddha Konasana, Soup the Baddha Konasana. Relax, take few deep breaths. Okay. Now bridge pose, again to cause the pressure on the lower abdomen. Stretch hands above the head, interlock your fingers and stretch hands. Breathe in, breathing out. First squeeze your butt, squeeze your tummy and lift, push as high as you can. You can feel that there's a lot of stretch here. One, five deep breaths. Two, three, four, five. Slowly come down and relax. This is all you have to hold for 20 to 30 counts. That's how the pressure or the stimulation happens. Okay? Now one more to increase the blood supply to the lower abdomen is Sarvangasana. <sighs> Lift up and hold your hips. Support your hands on your back and lift. Stretch your legs up. This way you are bringing all the blood to your abdomen. This is also very, very good. Hold here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you're if you're in a flexible, then you can take your legs over and touch the floor. Shall up. Hmm? One. Two, three, four, five. Support your lower back. Lift up and bring your hips slowly down. Bend your legs and open knees into but the corner. Relax. You feel a lot of Blood supply increases and this helps for curing any kind of disease of the lower abdomen organs. One more important stretch is you can have to use the support of wall. Just bring your mat close to the wall. Okay. Now sit close, as close you can sit to the wall and rest your back. Stretch your legs to the wall okay now bring your hips closer to the wall touch the wall here okay 
okay lie down like this you can see a lot of all the blood from the legs flows to the abdomen this is also very good just relax in this way so lie down in this way this is very very good to bring all the blood to your lower abdomen this will help to increase the blood supply to the abdominal organs you can lie down here 5 to 10 minutes you can just do your whatsapp or do any phone calls just rest here straight legs try to press your legs towards the wall okay and now touch your feet together and bring your legs down again do the butterfly pose in this with the support of wall okay open your legs bring them down as much as you can you feel a lot of stretch hold here five deep breaths one two three four five okay if you are not able to do the sarvangasana without support you can do the same thing with the support of wall so walk till here and stretch your legs and now walk up the wall okay this way also you can do hold here one Try to squeeze your butts and hold. Two, three, four, five. And slowly bring your hips down, okay? Similarly, you can do the halasan or the plow pose also with the support of wall. So bring your hips close to the wall. Now support your hands, lift your hips and take your leg over the head. You can support your hips here and now bring the other leg down. See here, very easily you can do this way. If you cannot touch the floor with your toes, it's okay. You can just bring this way, halfway also is fine. Hold and be breathing. One, two, three. Four, five. Breathe in. Bend your legs and you can bring them onto the wall. Okay, this way also you can just do the stretch to bring the blood back. Okay, so bring your legs down and slowly bring your hips down. And relax. Again, bring your legs down into butterfly pose. Relax here. 